sitting here in Long Island Jewish Hospital hours before, a couple, maybe one hour before I'm going to get my surgery on my torn quadriceps. It turns out I don't have a patella tear. I had a torn quadriceps. As you can see, I got my little knee brace on here, but they're going to be fixing the quad. As you can see, there's some black and blue here. My legs swelling up a lot. Uh, I like this I like this black brace they gave me, though, because I kind of look like Darth Vader. You know, when they, you know, I'm sure when I get out of here, I'm going to have to pull clean my black shorts and have that with my black sneakers. I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous about the whole process. Uh, it's not exactly the kind of thing you want to go through. But unfortunately, I kind of know what they're going to do in there, and I know what it looks like in there. So that's probably hey, uh, killing okay. me. That's the, we have the battle right there, is ignoring how I think and what I know is going to happen, and uh, just uh, kind of, I guess, resigning to the fact that I have to get this done. And hopefully, I won't be in too much pain after. I'm sure I will get the camera on you, and you'll. I'll touch base and let you know how everything went. Hopefully it was all good. Hopefully it's only my quad in there and I'll be able to fix it. Uh, next time you talk to me, I will have a fixed quad yourself. All right, I thought I was going to talk to you guys after my surgery, but they came with crutches. They want to teach me how to use crutches because I've never used crutches. Now I have bad shoulder here, you know, so i got to practice because they're going to do a nerve block on my leg, and I'm not going to feel my legs. So I'm going to really have one foot and have to hop. So um, they want me to practice the crutches. Let me see if I can do this. Video for you, Dad. Uh, not too bad. It's the hopping up, going up the steps on my butt is going to be a problem. I don't like that. Let me see if I can turn. Good on the hold. Do you have any allergies to include the medications? I think I got it down. Let me see if I can sit. Hi, Ellen. <laughs> well, the sitting is going to be a problem. Any allergies to bandages? Voila. <laughs> All right, RX Muscle fans, I am in the recovery room on lots of good drugs, feeling good about myself. Uh, the quad was repaired successfully. I'm told that uh, uh, it was a pretty simple procedure. It took them only an hour to do the, uh, the surgery. Now the tough time becomes or comes about. So I have to rehab this thing. i got to get range of motion back. It's going to take me two weeks before I can even bend it. Uh, I think I'm going to be going to my camp for some rehab. We'll be talking in the next day or two. And uh, let's see if I can get back in action again. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And, uh, I want to just thank Dr. Watnick for doing a great job. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have any pictures from the surgery. They didn't, they didn't take any in the operating room for me. But uh, it's probably a little too gruesome anyway. And I'll keep you updated on my progress when I get home. And uh, we're going to do 24 hours a day Palumbo. Uh, we're, I think, about at hour 8 at this point. In, in the night. Uh, I'll talk to you a little later. All right. I'm at Dr. Watton's office. It's one week post-surgery. As you can see, I'm not shaved. I'm sorry, I'm not going to shave like I bend my knee. That might be a very long time, so I might have a very long beard by then. Uh, I'm going to Dr. Watton's office. I'm going to look at my knee. I haven't seen my knee since the surgery, so I have no idea how big the scar is. I have no idea what it looks like. And it's a little scary to me. Uh, I know I'm not going to be able to start moving it for another week yet, but uh, I'm going to ask him if I can use maybe the, the uh, EMS muscular tens unit so I can get some tension on the quad a little and see if I can start doing anything. Although it is very painful, and I don't know if I even want to be bothered, but I know i got to start the recovery process. So let's, let's go upstairs and see what he has to say. No one else would let him do anything. How many patients have, have, no, they, they do? They say, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Should I walk in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Most people lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Like a freaking, uh, you took your tap maple syrup tree. Oh, actually, this is one way to get it out. That's what? what? That's weird that it didn't come out when. Well, what happens is the needle probably <laughs> no. sucked in, a, sucks in a clot. Uh -huh. This is just giving it a way to come out. <laughs> what 
never works very good. I mean, because otherwise, how old, how, how old was I declining to get out of my body? just going to heat yeah. up slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's quite a bit of wood, The only reason you do this is to try to give you more pain. Yeah. 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 Just got out of Dr. Watnick's office. As you guys uh, can imagine, my, I was a little horrified by what I saw about my knee. I knew it wasn't going to be bad. I actually thought the incision would be smaller, but I guess when you have to manipulate the patella, you know, you got to be able to get in there. Uh, there's a lot of swelling, obviously blood. For some reason, I, I team had the hematoma a lot, and I didn't know that the, there would actually be blood in there that he'd be able to drain. And when he asked me, uh, would you like me to drain it, it was like kind of like, you know, asking someone, uh, you want me to torture you for a little bit of time? And I knew that ultimately in the long run it would be better, so I, I did allow him to do it. The way the blood came out was kind of unusual. I didn't think he was going to come out like a fountain. I thought he was going to draw it out with the needle like they did in India to me. Uh, the fact that I can't really bend the knee for another week, he doesn't want me doing anything. I did talk him, however, into letting me use a TENS unit, which is an electromuscular stimulation unit. You put it on there and it makes your muscles, using electricity, just contract. So it'll make the, the quad muscles start to work a little bit without me actually having to do anything. Uh, my good friend Triple H sent that to me, along with a, uh, it's called Game Time Icing Unit. Uh, maybe I'll show you that in the next couple of days. It's a, it's a sleeve that wraps around uh, your knee and it pumps cold uh, water in there and it compresses the knee a little bit, and that will help with swelling, it'll help also icing, because I'm not icing it enough, I know that. Uh, but the swelling in my leg did come down a little bit. Uh, the fact that he, you know, it was funny, I asked him if, if, when I'm gonna be able to bend it, but the truth of the matter is, I really don't even wanna bend it yet, because it's still that painful and that vulnerable feeling to me. Uh, but the problem is that, and you know, most people don't realize, keeping your knee in a straight position is really hard. It's, you start getting antsy, it's almost like you wanna jump out of your body so you can bend your knee a little bit. Uh, you know, it's like if you hit your, uh, the doctor gave me a good analogy, if you hit your hand with a hammer and you shake your hand out, it goes away faster than if you just leave it like that because the nerve endings become less sensitized. So when the knee is starting to throb a little bit, you really want to almost shake it out and you can't. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm finding out my limitations here. Next week, luckily, he will give me a little range of motion. I'll be able to bend it, I think, about five degrees. And, you know, the procedure starts, the recovery starts. Uh, physical therapy, I really don't need to go to for another week or two. He's going to show me some stuff to do at home. And I'll keep you guys updated as the world turns in Dave Palumbo's new life.